Um, my name is Steve Rothberg. I am uh, the Program Vice Chancellor for Enterprise uh, here at Loughborough. And at the moment, I'm also uh, the Acting Pro Vice Chancellor for Research. Um, so I wear both of those hats as I stand in front of you uh, at the moment because I think both are very relevant to what it is that you are uh, proposing to do in this set of workshops. Um, when Catherine told me about the, the workshops, when Catherine told me, Miss Catherine told me about the workshops, it really caught my imagination and, and, and that's how I come to say, well, you know, do you want me to come and, and, and say a few words to get things going? Um, not because, uh, just because of the topic, which of course is, is all important and I, I stand in front of you uh, trying to do my best impression of someone who's digitally active. Um, I, have a, I have a piece of paper sellotape to the front of this that I'm reading off, you understand, um, but, um, but I'm trying to play the part. That's not true, it's the real thing. So not just because of the topic, um, but because uh, for several things really. And um, first of all, this is uh, a, a training activity for research staff, and I don't think I'm alone uh, in, in in the view that uh, universities need to do more for the career development. Uh, of their research staff in many ways, but including uh, through um, uh, facilitating uh, activities uh, such as these. So I think it absolutely uh, hits that uh, particular button. This is peer-to-peer -peer learning, and I think you know we've all sat in in, in long and um, well-intentioned uh, training programs, but I think the peer-to-peer -peer learning thing really has something that is you know it adds to um, what we're trying to do here. Uh, really brings it to life uh, and really makes it meaningful for those of you who are participating and of course it brings that extra dimension of not only as the learner is it a personal development uh, exercise for you but also for the presenter. Uh, it's a very uh, valuable uh, opportunity as well so I really like the peer-to-peer -peer part of it. I, I read when I was just doing my little bit of preparation that you're here because um, of survey responses uh, from a survey that, that happened uh, a few months ago. Um, <laughs> that, that's got to be a cause for celebration. We do lots of surveys <laughs> and we discover lots of useful things and it's not always the case that we can say and as a consequence we did these things. So I think it's fabulous that you know, we've listened, the community has, uh, has uh, opinion has been sought and, uh, and that you've taken uh, action. It's regional. Uh, and I really applaud that part of it. I, I think when I was walking up the stairs with Becky, she told me that most of you are here uh, from Loughborough. I think maybe there is someone, though, in the room who is not from Loughborough. Is that, is that correct? Is there, is there someone here who, who is not? So a very, very warm welcome to you. Um, where, where are you from? Leicester. From Leicester. That's brilliant. But I, I understand, you know, as the programme unfolds, of course, the events will be at Leicester and at Nottingham and, and others will participate. Uh, and I think there are many occasions where some kind of joint regional uh, response is, is absolutely spot on. We, we do this a fair amount in, in, in some of our most substantial activities. Uh, some of you may be familiar, for example, with the Midlands Energy uh, Consortium, which is uh, what was Loughborough, uh, Nottingham and Birmingham, is now uh, also Warwick and the British Geological Survey, so very much a regional uh, research activity. There was the Midlands, uh, Midlands Energy Graduate School associated with that as well, that, that same group. Uh, we are part of the M5. Uh, M5 is the Midlands 5, and as you would expect, it has six members. Uh, <laughs> and it is a, a combination of the universities in the Midlands because, you know, we live in the same world. We've shared interests and shared problems to solve. Uh, and we, under, you know, we understand each other's problems and we understand each other's good news. So I you know, really think that the regional approach that you're taking is also uh, absolutely the, the, the right approach. It's a great networking opportunity and um, I hope you'll make the most of that. When I've been on training exercises you know, similar to this, uh, then one of the most valuable things you get out of it is the opportunity to talk to, to people who've got the same issues as you to face but they're from a different part of the university or a different university and they just look at it with a different perspective that helps you to, uh, to move your own issues forward and I encourage you to make the most of that. And of course it's all about delivering impact from your research and you know, that, you know, there is currently in research, you know, it's the, it's the biggest of the new agendas. Um, we're all universities, we're all waiting for our ref results uh, and they'll be with us in a couple of weeks' time. Impact for the first time with substance will be part of that assessment. It's here to stay 
Uh, and if I wear very much my Pro Vice Chancellor for Enterprise hat on this one, it's absolutely what that role uh, is all about. High quality research, absolutely essential, but taking it forward so that it changes our lives and the lives of other people uh, is what we've got to do a better job of as, as university researchers in the future. And your topic today is, is bang on that. So I, I think what you're going to do today presses so many of the right buttons uh, that I hope it will be, a, uh, I'm sure it will be a, a great exercise, not just today, but in the other three workshops that you do when you do the repeat sessions uh, at the other institutions. I, I hope it will work out um, uh, as you planned and, and be as successful as I think it can be. I'm going to hand over to Becky now, who is going to um, take you forward into the session for real. Um, I am heading over to Science and Enterprise Parks, which is on the west side of our campus, um, to talk about energy, actually. So it's a Midlands Energy Consortium activity. So I, I'm being regional uh, and networking as well. So I hope your session goes well. So great. That was a, a good introduction. I'm just going to give you a very brief introduction to this session. Thank you very much for all coming. Um, it's quite exciting. We've been talking about this for quite a number of months now. So we're glad that it's finally happening finally on the ground and we hope it's going to be a great session we've got a number of different speakers here so it's going to be quite uh, fast paced i would imagine um little slots that people are going to keep changing over and sharing their knowledge their experience um any words of wisdom that they've got and and people have really got a really good range of experience here even in the planning um i've learned loads from other people and it, i think it's going to be a really great opportunity to just see what people are doing within their own research within um some lectures here and within what they're what they've used with their students as well as their research so just to give you a really quick bit of background, the reason that we even put in um, the money f um, put in for the grant for this uh, program was that we were aware that research staff in particular um, are more and more expected to perform loads of different roles within projects and a lot of roles which you're actually in no way trained for. Um, so I know that within my projects I've had to do uh, things like branding or, or things that are a lot more design based than I'm trained for even though I'm based in the design school and suddenly you feel like you're like learning on your feet and we thought well hang on there's because there's there's people within the university that have those skills so why aren't we sharing those skills amongst each other and actually um, learning from each other instead of having to go on another course where you learn from an expert that's not kind of really what you need to know so we thought actually the principle of sharing the skills amongst each other and um also that it's tailored specifically to what you might need within an academic job and within specifically within research we thought well that's that's a great idea what why aren't we doing that so that's that's where it came from um, and then sarah is going to talk a little bit more about um the partners of the program and the survey but that's the point and, and the point is that it kind of um the four sessions that we're going to run step through a typical research process so that this first one is kind of um about like establishing yourself putting yourself out there um how to get that contact with the outside world then we step forward into actually when you're doing that research um how you might communicate how you might use visual media, how you might use creative skills to communicate uh, your process or communicate to stakeholders, communicate to your participants in research. Then we look at when you've actually got your data, what can you do with that infographics or how can you visualize data or what can you do creatively with your data to make it um, more um, interesting to other people and then finally um, increasing your digital impact so we know there's a big um, agenda in terms of impact and how you can get your information out there so actually how can we do that in creative ways and digitally and kind of more interestingly than the typical academic um, outputs so that's a brief rundown of the sessions they will run through till march next year march the last date i think yep um, all of them will be at Loughborough, two will be at Nottingham as well and two will be at Leicester as well. Great, thank you. Um, I don't know if there's much more to say really apart from highlighting that myself and Becky are currently joint chair of the um, Loughborough University Research Staff Association and ourselves along with Kirsten who's currently on maternity leave were responsible for developing the proposal which was um, funded by the AHRC. So all these um, workshops that are going to be run in over the next few months are all funded by the AHRC 
and we've also had support from within the university from Catherine North and other colleagues um, related to the Research Staff Association and also the um, VTI, Lisa is here today from VTI recording the session which allows us to share this session with people who couldn't otherwise make it. So we'd like to thank um, everybody for their support in, in developing this programme across the three East Midlands universities. So um, I'm going to hand over now to the first speaker.